My first memory was when, just before I was two, um, my brother was um, being born, not quite born, and we went to see the, the, the guy who puts the jelly in the camera thing on the pregnant woman's belly, and he gave me and my sister x-ray pictures. Um, she got a rabbit and I got a teddy bear, which I was pretty happy about because I like teddy bears. Um, and that would have been when I was about one and three quarters because my brother was born two weeks after my birthday. Um, my favourite children's book slash story ever is... I have like 50 million of them. Um, I'll say The Never Ending Story by Michael... Michael Yeah, yeah. I get mixed up because I've been put by a child as well. Um, and I liked it because it was the first sort of real adults book I read. I read it in standard four. And I just, I like the idea of going and being a saviour in this other world and also the idea of being able to make up and rename a world, which now that I've done post-colonial studies is apparently not such a great thing, but at the time, renaming stuff is awesome. Um, my best memory of the library is actually every time I walk down the stairs, which is just up there, there's this white writing on the red wall, and I swear every single time I read that, it's not quite a poem, it's like a letter, and I swear every single time I read it, it changes just slightly. And the only thing I can remember about it at this moment is that it has, in brackets, cookies made of sand. I don't remember why, but that's the only bit I ever remember of that, and see everything else around that those words change. Um, and Lastly, in my library of the future, I want to see books in my library of the future. I am totally against electronic resources and becoming like the way of the future. And people who say you can spend hours reading off little tiny computer screens just have no love or joy for the feeling of being able to turn pages and writing on pages, so I would never do that to a library book. But my own books, which I own, I would definitely write notes all over. But, um, yeah, no, I hate reading off computer screens and trying to scroll with my finger for hours just makes it hurt. So, books in the library of the future would be nice.